Jack, I just watched you collapse to the ground at full time as a Villa player and, of course, a Villa supporter as well. How good does that feel? Yeah, it was unbelievable. Um, you know, I think I think it was deserved as well. Um, I thought we were outstanding today. Um, everything about us, our game management, our defensive defensive display, um, the way we counter-attacked. Um, the only problem was I probably reckon we should have or could have got another goal. Um, but, you know, we take a 1-0 win all day against a great team like Arsenal. You know, we've seen what they've done at the weekend um, to Man City, so it's a brilliant win for us. How stressful a day has it been? Clinging on at the end there, the Watford game, all of it. How tense? <laughs> yeah, it has been a bit of a tense day. Um, but, you know, all we can do is focus on ourselves. Um, you know, I think uh, the ball's in our hand now, so... Um, you know, it's up to us to what we do on the last day, but nothing's done yet. Um, you know, we have a massive game now, uh, Sunday against West Ham, and um, we'll be giving it our all again. Out of the relegation zone now, does that feel big? Yeah, it feels massive. Um, you know, like I said, I think since we've come back, you know, we've probably deserved a little bit more than we've actually got. Um, you know, we had certain things before the uh, before COVID that we were that we were probably struggling with, um, you know, one of them being set pieces, for example. We probably conceded too many goals and, you know, over that time we, we, um, we had Zoom calls twice a week. Um, you know, once we were back, we were training, working every single day. And I think since we've been back, you know, we've defended brilliantly and we've also been brilliant from set pieces, so it shows that we've been working hard. How worried were you? when you missed the big chance, Keenan Davis, around about the 75th minute, especially after what happened at Everton? Uh, yeah, yeah, obviously it's always playing in the back of your mind, you know, I think we've conceded a quite a few late goals this season. Um, but, you know, like I said, we had trust in ourselves, the way we've been playing, the way we've been training, and uh, we've got trust in the management staff. And um, I think deep down we all knew that we, we were going to cling on, and luckily we did. I touched on it at the start, you're a Villa supporter, you love this club, what would it mean to keep them up? Oh, it would mean everything to me. Um, you know, I think since we've been back, I probably haven't been probably has, haven't been as effective as I was before. Have you felt that pressure of trying to keep Villa up? Of it kind of being your responsibility? No, not one bit. Um, I think I don't really mind pressure. You know, I think pressure's a privilege. Um, my co old coach always used to say that to me. Um, but I just think you know, since I've come back, I probably haven't. Truthfully, I haven't felt as fit as I did before before the um, break, um, but you know that's no excuse. I just need to do what I do what I know that I can do, and I think I've done it today. I was probably unlucky not to get an assist in the end. And lastly, I feel like I should ask, and honestly, feel if you don't feel like answering, don't. Could this have been your last game in a Villa shirt at Villa Park? Um, I'm not too sure at the moment. Um, you know, I, I have. I have one one aim, and that's to keep this club in the Premier League. I think where 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 this whole stadium, this whole club, and fan base, you know, knows where we belong. Um, so that's all I'm thinking about at the moment. Um, like I said, yeah, keeping this club in the Premier League, and hopefully we can do that on Sunday.